I've been a creative for well over a decade. I am a creator of things. I make stuff. Some people call the things that I make content and some people call the things that I make art. Labels aside, either way, I'm making things and that's what I've always done. I think deep down inside, I have always identified with being an artist in some kind of way. If not in the actual things that I'm producing, then most certainly in the approach to the things that I'm making. To me, art is an expression, sure, but more than anything else, to me, art is a feeling. But I don't have a single specific word for this feeling. It kind of feels like vulnerability, pride and curiosity all rolled into one. It's this feeling of, hey, I made this and it might not be for everyone, but this is me and who I am and I hope you really like it. And for most of my life, the things that I've created, the art that I've made, it felt like this. I think the magic of art is that it itself is nebulous. There is no true definition of what art is for everyone. No common agreement on exactly what art is that fits you, me, and everyone in between. And I think that's magical. You know, to me, art is a feeling and to someone else that definition might be completely wrong. But the reason why I thought about this so much is that sometimes, even though I'm creating things in the ways that I've always done, more so than ever, especially in the last half decade, the things that I'm making can sometimes feel like they don't have that spark of art, that feeling of art. And sometimes the things that I make don't have the little tension of anxiousness and nervousness that comes with truly expressing your vulnerabilities. Sometimes when I make stuff, I don't feel a tremendous amount of pride, even though the feedback that I get from it may make it quote unquote successful. You know, there are certain things that I make where I know the thing will be very well received from the very start of the process. And it's been a very interesting observation seeing this change in myself over the years, because especially lately, especially recently, I've been progressively feeling this way. And more and more, I feel like the things that I make have less and less of an artistic feeling and it moves ever closer towards what I think the common feeling of the word content is to the zeitgeist. This idea of art versus content. You know, this is an idea that I've had in my mind for so, so long ago. You know, what are the differences? What are the similarities? Is one better than the other or can they live together? You know, is it even important that there is a distinction between the two? And does there really need to be yet another polarizing debate in an already overly politically correct and no gray area type of world? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. All I know is that when I make things, there are times where there's a tension, there's a healthy tension. One where I know that I'm putting myself and my tastes and my interests on the line, showing them to the world and not really knowing what I'm going to get back if I ever do get anything back. And then there are other times where I make things and there's no real tension at all, where I'm creating things that people actually want to see or to hear or read, that people want to be educated on or entertained with. There are times where I know that the things that I make have an audience of people who want to consume it and there is that confidence there. And it gets me to thinking about intention. You know, why do you make the things that you make both realistically and philosophically from a survival perspective and a soulful perspective? Because to me, creating things with an artistic intention just makes me feel better. Like when I know that I'm taking photos for myself, knowing that it might not perform well on social media or, you know, the moments where I feel like I can't be bothered to make a photo because it might not be good enough, but I push through anyways. Moments that aren't marred by expectation, but instead lifted by expression. I think this is why I feel such a 
tremendous urge to make videos like this. Videos where I don't really know if it has an audience at all, where it feels scary to put your vulnerable opinions out on the internet, where there's an uncertainty to utility or entertainment. It's because making things like this personally pushes me forward as a person who makes things for a living. Much more so than, you know, making tutorials or talking about gear or making things that I know will perform well on the relevant platforms. You know, at the same time, I know that these things are very, very important as well. But I also know that in a world where everything is content now, the feeling of art for me will be lost if I don't do everything that I can to nurture it. So I'm doing the best that I can to preserve what little feeling of art I have left for the things that I make. And I guess I just wanted to express these feelings to you because of the contentification of everything. And don't get me wrong, this is neither a good thing or a bad thing specifically. It's just that the romanticized idea of art is in my opinion, slowly dying and I'll always have a place for the pride and joy that comes with vulnerable self-expression. I'll always give value to the people who see their work through a perspective of craftsmanship and artistic pursuit. And so I pose the question to you, to the people who make things, do you make art or do you make content? Something to think about.